Hey guys, Maritza here. I wanted to make a little testimony video. I tried doing this before and it didn't take, so um, I hope I could, could repeat what I said before. You know, I've walked a life of sin for as long as I can remember. I was sexually molested from the time I was eight years old till I was 12. I had my first sexual encounter besides the sexual molestation when I was 13 with a female. I, uh, we had a maid and I kind of experimented on her. From the time I was 16, I ended up going to my first gay club and visited often. I got in, even though I wasn't of age, made friends with people in the door and they allowed me in. I lived 22 years as a lesbian going from relationship to relationship. There's an old joke that says something to the effect of lesbians in U-Haul because it's like, you know, it's what it is. You know, you're, you're always searching and, and trying to find, but you can never really find exactly what you're searching for because it's empty. There's no function in it. It's all based on the flesh and needs and lust, you know. It just doesn't have any function whatsoever, in my humble opinion. And again, anything that I say here, these are my views, my opinion, my life, what I've gone through, what I've, what I've gotten out of the life that I've led. I was into drugs from crack cocaine or marijuana to, um, to crack and um, how do you call it, snorting cocaine. I tried everything from ecstasy to mushrooms, always searching, always searching, smoked cigarettes, drank a lot, never found happiness. Now I um, got into bodybuilding, figured maybe if I change my physique, you know, because it's always about external stimuli, never about the spiritual. I was raised Jehovah Witness, so whatever I did learn from God or of God was from my grandmother. And, um, I couldn't allow religion in my life because I knew that what I was doing was wrong. I felt guilt. I was always feeling guilty. And not because people said that what I was doing was wrong. It's just it felt wrong inside my heart. And if you guys are really honest with yourself, those of you that are in the LGBT community, there's that inner voice that tells you what you're doing is wrong. Don't lie to yourself. You feel that. You know that. That's why you're never happy. You're trying to create your own God, your own, your own uh, satisfaction, the way that you see, you feel that life should be. But we know that God created man and woman for a reason, reproduction. And anything that we do, we do against God's law. That's just the way it is. You know, I'm just the messenger. And this is what I feel deep in my heart. So I went from 22 years of dating women, living with women, Never finding true happiness. They weren't fulfilling for me. I wasn't fulfilling to them. Split up and the cycle repeated itself. There were mornings I would wake up in a stranger's bed after a night in the club. And I don't even remember who that person was. That's how messed up and high I was. And it's the kind of life I led. And that's the kind of life that most people lead in the LGBT community. And yeah, there might be a few older, you know, men and older women that have settled down but they become more a brother and sister to each other than anything else. After a while, life gets repugnant and tiring. But I think the, the key here is to work on the issues. Why do we seek the drugs, the alcohol? Why do we seek relationships? If you're a woman, why do you seek a relationship with another woman? We know that that's not the norm. That is not the norm. It's done out of some sort of trauma some sort of hatred for men, some sort of traumatizing event that took place that made you not want to be with men. We've got to be honest. You were married, didn't have a good relationship. Your husband didn't treat you right, so you, you fell in love with your best friend, whatever. There are many reasons, but is that the correct path to take? And again, I am not the judge here. You and your father, your creator, whoever you believe in, you have to face him. I'm just explaining my story. After 22 years and I decided that, okay, maybe I'll become a man because I've always felt different because I didn't like my breasts being touched, but little did I know that it was all based on the sexual molestation. 
A lot of women don't like their breasts. They're too big. They're bulky. They're, they're a side of sore eyes. Uh, men, you know, grope you and, and objectify you. So many different reasons. Lived as a trans guy for 16 years. Thought that would be the answer. I was successful. I was a trans man on a mission. That didn't help. I was still lost. Father never let me go though. I remember there was one time I was smoking crack and I thought I was gonna die. My heart felt really funny. I'd overdone it. And I prayed and I asked God, if he allowed me to live that night, I will never do crack again. And I didn't do it again. So I think the first time that communication with him, he kind of saw my heart and said, there's hope for my girl. So he continued to give me some rope, leash, and let me go and do whatever it is that I was doing. But he knew that one day I'd come home. Funny enough, last, um, I guess you would say the last seven, eight years, I've been in relationship with trans women. I learned a lot of things. I learned to be in touch with my nurturing side. I learned how to become afraid of things that I did not need to come become afraid of. I learned to um, to know a little bit more about myself, as if almost as father put these individuals in my life to help me grow. I prayed a lot in the last relationship that I was in. I was taught about Jesus Christ. I was baptized. And I tried to detransition several times, but the situation wasn't right, not because of me, but because of the situation. And I'll leave it at that because I don't want to go too into detail about my ex. But as much as I prayed for them, it seemed like the prayers were being heard for me. And God saved me and pulled me out of the life completely. I no longer drink, no longer take drugs, no longer watch porn, no longer masturbate, no longer have any type of need any type of desire of the flesh. All I seek now is to be right and do right by Father, to help others get close to Father as well. And that is all that I want to do for my remaining years. It feels good to be free because before I felt like I was in prison. I felt like I had shackles around my ankles and my, and my wrist. And now I'm free and I owe it all to Yeshua my Lord, my King, who has saved me, who has freed me from this life of sin. And yes, I do consider life of the LGBT a life of sin. That is my opinion. I'm not judging you. It's up to you, whatever you want to feel. If you could sleep with yourself at night and have peace, that's on you. I didn't feel any peace. I felt like I was lying. I felt like I was living a life that did not belong to me but I didn't know how to get out. And the way out was through Yeshua, Jesus Christ. He died on that cross for you. Father loves you. He wants you to come home. He's waiting for you. If you feel an uneasiness, if you feel your life is not right, if you feel empty, lost, constantly searching, cry out for him. He will help you. He will bring you back home. He loves you. He'll leave it. The 99 sheep to go find the one. I'm glad he came to find me. Do you want him to find you? All right, guys, I love you. But remember to always love yourselves too.